Yo, what up? How you guys doing out there today? This is your boy Roto Beast, and I'm here to present you my MLB picks for Tuesday, July 31st. If you're new to this channel, please make sure to click the subscribe button below. This so you can watch all my MLB, NFL, and NBA videos. And if you haven't, come check out our new website here at www.dfscheatsheet.com. You're absolutely missing out. We have all the tools, including a complete optimizer, tons of content such as this video to help you compete with the pros day in and day out. Stop missing out. Come check us out. Um, sorry I've been gone a couple of days. I had, uh, you know, bas- uh, nationals in Las Vegas for my basketball team that I coach. Um, I'm glad to be back home. Glad to get back on the grind. I couldn't play no DV- DFS because it's banned in Nevada. I'm happy that I get to play tonight and get back on this, you know, regular grind. I'll make sure and get these videos up for you regularly um, as normal. And, um, yeah, let's just get in this video. Real quick, though, before I do, if you don't mind, please take that quick second. Drop a like button for me down below. Helps me out, and I really, really appreciate that. And, uh, yeah, let's go. So we'll start at, at pitcher, as always. Um, I mean, probably the top cash game pitcher is going to be Trevor Bauer. Um, the guy's just been on absolute fire this season. Nobody's been able to touch him. The problem with him is, the problem with him is he's 2,000 more than anybody else. So I think there's a couple other guys that we could actually look at um, that'll be close that you can save some money. But if you want to look for floor for a safety, I definitely think you probably go Trevor Bauer. Um, next, you got Charlie Morton. He's a guy I'm really interested in um, going against Seattle. I mean, Seattle, the been a team that's been up and down, um, you know, throughout this season. Um, I mean, Morton has shown us some definite K upside at 2,200 less than Bauer. It'll definitely help us get some of these good bats that I found on this slate. I definitely think you could consider him. Um, Tyler Skaggs going against Tampa Bay. Um, you know, he's been very good as well. I think Charlie Morton's maybe a little bit more of a safe cash game play. Um, then, uh, then Trevor Skagg, but I think you can go, you can, you know, be feel pretty comfortable with both of them. Um, you know, Skaggs, he's got you at least, you know, what? He's got you in one, two, three, four, five. Five of his past seven games, he's got you at least 40 fantasy points. So he's showing you that, you know, solid floor. Um, so I definitely think that, like I said, Skaggs is a good play. Morton, I mean, he's been very consistent as well. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so in the past three, he's kind of had a couple iffy starts. But before then, I mean, he was rock solid. Um, so I could, I'll take that back. I may actually lean a little bit more towards Skaggs for cash and a little bit more Morton for GPP. Um, that's something I'm going to have to look into. But I definitely like both of those pitchers. Um, then we can look at Tanaka. Um, Tanaka, he's another pitcher. He's been up and down. There's been a lot of pitchers this year that have been up and down. Um, Tanaka, though, going against Baltimore. Baltimore is definitely a, a hit-or-miss team. They have a lot of um, strikeout upside in their lineup, especially without Manny Machado. Um, you know, he uh, Tanaka faced them, what, four starts ago. He went five and a third, allowed eight hits, seven strikeouts to four earned, one, uh, earned runs, got a win for 31 fantasy points. I definitely want more than 31 fantasy points. Um, he had a monster outing his last um, last time out. He went a complete game, three hitter, nine strikeouts, and got a W. Um, no no earned runs versus Tampa Bay for sixty four fantasy points. So he's showing us some of that upside. And lastly, we got Jake Flaherty. Um, I mean, this guy he came out of nowhere this season. I mean, he's been pitching very well at home. That's a positive. Going against Colorado, it's not the best matchup. Um, I understand, but for seventy seven hundred. I definitely think we can maybe consider him as a GPP flyer. Um, Colorado, they do have, you know, some, some really good um, power bats, some really good you know, bats in general in their lineup. But, you know, I'm kind of taking um, a combination of what Flaherty's done and at home at, and his price tag of only 7700 And, um, yeah, I definitely think that you can look at him um, on the lower end if you want to save some money. Now we'll move on to bats. I mean, we'll start with uh, Freddie Freeman. Played him yesterday. Hit a home run for us. Um, it was a great pick. Go right back to the well at 3,900 at home versus Straley. He already has a home run in his career. Um, next, we will go with. Hold on, let me let me sort this out real quick for us. Yeah. So next, we will go with um, Anthony Rizzo. Going against Tyon, he's 8 for 13 with a double and two home runs in his career. 
Um, you know, he's been batting in that leadoff spot, so he's, you know, tending to steal extra uh, a bat or two. Um, then you got Paul Goldschmidt going against Bartolo Colon, three for 11 in his career with a double and a home run. Edwin Encarnacion going against uh, Kyle Gibson, seven for 22. <clears throat> with a double and four home runs. So, I mean, the guy's showing you some massive home run upside in this spot. He's he's excelled in it, you know, in the past. Ryan Zimmerman batting in that cleanup spot. He has a home run in his career against Mats. And lastly, I like Greg Bird for the Yankees. I'm batting in that six hole, 3,400, um, going against Ramirez. I definitely think the Yankees are going to really put up some runs in this spot. Um, you know, so I'm definitely going to look at some Yankees at home. Second base, I'm going to start with, um, I like, I like, uh, Goudrum going against Homer Bailey. I love targeting Homer Bailey. Detroit doesn't have no really good bats that I'm really going to be going crazy about, but, um, this guy Goudrum has been showing us some upside this season. He's a solid play. Cesar Hernandez, he showed us some power upside, some stolen base upside going against, um, Drew Pomerantz, another Yankee in Torres you could look at. Merrifield, um, he's going against, uh, oh, I'm sorry, he's going to, uh, who's, who are they facing? I think they're facing James Shields. Let me look real quick. Sorry, I think I wrote that down wrong. Oh, yeah, so you got uh, Merrifield going against James Shields. He has four hits in his career. Um, you know, he is a little bit of power upside, definitely some massive stolen base upside with 22 stolen bases on the season, um, batting that, cl- uh, that leadoff spot. Then a couple more guys I'm looking at. Baez, I mean, going against Tyron, he's six for 10 in his career with three doubles and a home run. And then lastly, if we want to save a little bit of money, I think is a good play is Neil Walker, um, going against Ramirez, um, for Baltimore. He already has a hit in his career. Then we go third base. Jose Ramirez going against Kyle Gibson. Seven for 24 with the home run and two doubles um, versus Gibson. Some great numbers. You can look at Suarez. He's been on absolute fire going against a lefty, Matt Boyd. Um, you know, just a couple games ago, he, he hit five home runs in, in five straight games. The past two games, he hasn't. But, I man, just shows you he's swinging a really good bat. Um, I definitely think that you can go right back to him. Candelero for Detroit going against Homer Bailey. I mean, Homer Bailey just sucks, plain and simple. Manny Machado, 4 for 10 with the home run in his career against Wade Miley. Eduardo Escobar, um, you know, for going against Bartolo Colon, 3 for 7 with a double in his career. Um, you know, in Arizona, really good hitters park. I definitely think Arizona is going to be one of the top stacks on the day. Anthony Rendon, I'm liking some of these Washington bats as well. He's expected to be back from uh, paternity leave today. Guys are swinging a really, really good bat. Um, you know, I, I like him a lot. And one more guy I forgot to mention at second base was um, – where is he at? Where is he at? Where is he at? Oh, they haven't updated yet. So another guy I like, I'll make sure that the system's updated as soon as I get done with this video, is Daniel Murphy. Um, the guy's 4 for 11 with a double and a home run in his career against Matt. I think that he's a really, really good play. Uh, now let's go to shortstop. I'm going to start with, um, you know, Francisco Lindor going against Kyle Gibson. He's 10 for 27 with a double and two stolen bases. Um, you know, so I like him. I definitely think that he's a solid play. The pr- problem with him is, is, is it, can you fit his price tag in? Um, if you could, I mean, I, I don't think you could go wrong with that play. Trey Turner going against Matt. He has a double and a stolen base in his career. Beckham, um, you know, uh, I think you could consider him. For me, he's more of a GPP play. A guy I'm really liking, you know, 2800, Tim Anderson going against Duffy. He's 10 for 29. With the home run um, in his career, he's in that leadoff spot. It's already confirmed for the day. D.D. Gregorius going against Ramirez um, for Boston. Two for three with the double. And lastly, Azubo Cabrera going against Pomerantz. Two for four with the double in his career. 
Um, you know, small sample size, but this guy's a really good professional hitter. I like him a lot. Now we'll go to outfield. Um, you got Mookie Betts, J.D. Martinez. I'm going to combine both of them. Both of them having very good seasons at home going against Arietta. Boston just keeps winning. They find ways to definitely win. And, you know, these guys are both, you know, have, having monster seasons. So I think any time they're on a the slate, you pretty much got to consider them. A.J. Pollock going against Bartolo Colon at home. I mean, prime spot for him. Acuna played him yesterday. Hit a home run for me. I'm going to go right back to the well at home in Atlanta. They say it's the new uh, course field of the East going against Dan Straley. Um, where is he at? Oh, Stanton. I like Stanton um, at home going against Ramirez. Mm-hmm. Two for three with a double. And I'm also liking, I like Souza going at 2,800 going against Bartolo Colon. And lastly, I like, if I can find him, where is he at? Let me just go. Brett Gardner, 3,400, batting in that leadout spot. He's two for three with the home run in his career against Ramirez. So, yeah, I mean, that's kind of where I'm at with these picks. Um, There's a couple obvious spots that I'm really liking. I do like Atlanta. I'm liking um, Arizona a lot. I definitely think that you can look at the Yankees. Um, those are probably the main spots. And then you can get a couple of one-offs here and there that I kind of talked about a little bit. Um, but yeah, hey, if, if you haven't already, like I said, please make sure to click the like button on this video. Please make sure that you're subscribed. And um, yeah, in a couple minutes, I'm going to actually drop my cash, uh, cash game core play based off of this video. So stay tuned for that video as well. Uh, make sure to like both of them. I'll be back tomorrow with my MLB picks uh, for Wednesday. And I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out.